Sound Design. Yeah. All right, so what is total error in its relationship to filter length in uh, FIR creator, FIR designer? So in my interview with Michael John from Eclipse Audio, who created the software, I asked him about that and we talked about it. So I'll just tell you that initially, I thought total error meant that it was a problem and I needed to ma basically make total error go to zero. So I started, you know, uh, turning this up and you can see total error go down as I make the filter longer. And I'm turning it up and I'm turning it up and I'm turning it up and filter, the error never goes down to zero. Now I could put something really high in here like, you know, the highest possible for uh, what my preferences are set to. By the way, if you ever want to make this go higher under the preferences, you can choose a longer IR here. Um, but now I've got it to go to zero, right? But I can't load a 16,000 sample filter into my device. I'm using uh, BSS Blue 106, 160, I can't remember. And uh, I can only load an 8,000 sample filter in there. And so I'm never gonna get to zero. So he pointed out to me that the goal is not to try to get to zero, the goal is to get to a low enough error that you won't be able to hear it. Um, what does that mean? How low does it need to be? Well, he says, uh, variations in loudspeakers will inherently be in the order of modest fractions of a dB or larger. So getting the FI filter or even the IIR processing accurate to within 0 0.25 dB of ideal, you start to wonder whether filter differences are in the noise relative to the variation in the loudspeakers themselves. So the manufacturing guidelines are not even this close. So if the speakers are not going to be within 0.25 dB of each other, even within 1 dB realistically, then we can't expect, we shouldn't be pushing our filters that far. So taking a look at this again, if I go back to where I was, let's start at uh, 100 samples, then we see that we have a maximum of 3 and a minimum of 3. So that's 3 dB. I'd like to get it closer to like half a dB uh, or 0.25 as he mentioned, which you'll probably never be able to hear. So I could keep turning this up and you'll see it go down, but I'll just go ahead and jump up to 400 and see what that gives me. Getting close. Let's go to 800. There we go. So now I would say that this is, you know, a span of 2 dB and I would just keep going. Uh, one of the reasons that I need this to be so long is that over here in the auto mag, I've turned this on pretty high. So we've got a lot of uh, filter action going on here. Um, getting lower, let's just go all the way up to 2000. Um, and another thing to look at here is you see how well our filter is actually being replicated based on the window. So um, magnitude before window, magnitude after window. It looks really close to me. Will I be able to hear those errors? Probably not. So I guess ideally I would start with something lower and then export it and listen to it. What are my limitations here? I can make this filter as long as I want and it's not gonna create more delay. So I guess my limitation here is really how much processing power I have. So let's say that I have a total of 10,000 samples processing power in whatever hardware I'm gonna load this into. Um, and I might wanna do more than one filter, so I need to spread that out across my filters. So let's say that I wanna do um, two filters. I have 10,000 total, so that means maximum I wanna have 5,000 samples here. That gets me a really low error. Um, so I'm just sort of making these numbers up, but that's what your limitations might be. So um, using a more realistic limitation, I guess, in the BSS Blue uh, 160, I have a limitation of 8,000 samples in one of my FIR filters. So I know I can't go above 8,000, but I also know that 8,000 will eat up a lot of my processing. So I probably wanna get lower so that I can use more filters in the future if possible. So all part of the system design here, but really just making this video to, sh to show and remind myself that 
total error is not about getting the error to zero. It's about just giving you an overview of how far away your current filter is based on the window and the sample size um, to the ideal filter that you want to get. And just to show you one more time, if I take this way down to 50, you can see that we have more error here. See how this kind of gets smoothed out and doesn't track as well over all the peaks. And um, this number gets bigger and, and all this is kind of messy. And so that's something that we might be able to hear. All right, so let me know if you have a different understanding of how this uh, windowing and total error feature works. Um, and let me know if you think I said anything wrong in this video. This is, these are kind of new topics for me, um, but thanks for watching. Sound design. Yeah.